Well, hey everyone, Brandon here from preachandlead.com. Today in this video, I wanna show you how I set up my week for maximum effect in Notion so that I know exactly what I'm trying to accomplish in a given week. So if you look here, um, I've got my Notion ministry dashboard pulled up and right now it's blank in terms of these two sections, my big three for the week and my daily planner. I follow uh, a, a few different kind of principles for productivity, and they are kind of embedded in my system within Notion. My first one is the big three for the week. Every week, I want to have three main goals that I'm trying to accomplish. If I can accomplish those, then it was a good week. And then each day, I have about three or so major tasks. There's going to be additional ones. And then I also follow the principles of day blocking. In other words, I want to make sure that I'm to the best of my ability in an ideal week, I'm working on themes for each day. So you'll kind of see how these kind of play out as we dig, dig into it. So first I want to set up my big three for the week. Um, so we are December 4th. This is a Monday. And so obviously we are in the Christmas season in Advent. Um, so but I've got a few specific things that I need to address for this week. So I've got a budget review. That's a major thing that I need to get done. Uh, there's a meeting for that today, which you'll see that when we break down that today's day on the daily planner. The next thing is I've got to officiate um, a funeral service. I won't put any like personal details of that in this video. So I'll have to go back and update this. But I'm going to be officiating funeral service. Um, that's later in the week, but there's obviously a number of things that need to get done before I can do that. And then sermon work. So these are the main three chunks that I've got to do for this week to make sure I am on task. So if you go down here, I've got my daily planner and I've set this up so that I have, like I said, I use day blocking. And so each day I have some preset things that I want to make sure are accomplished given that day's kind of work. So on Monday, so if you'll see here, the only thing that I have pre-programmed is reading list because I'm going to be doing research on Mondays a lot. But today I need to do a funeral follow-up call. And uh, I've also got, let's see, I got the budget review meeting today. And that's going to be at 3.30. And then I've also got a random eye appointment that I need to get to this morning. So these are my main things that I need to make sure get done today. So within each of these things, there's going to be some prep, not each thing, but the funeral follow-up call. Um, I've already sent uh, a follow-up text. I'm going to need to probably do a call. Uh, I've got a budget review meeting, so there's going to be some prep work for that. And obviously, I got, you know, drive time and all of that. And then within each of my days, I have my task manager built into this. Now, you can see I've got deadlines for these things. It's not today, but it shows up so that if I, you know, decide to get that task done today, I can. And then I just mark it off here and then it will disappear. So that's for Monday. Now, let's look at Tuesday. I tend to work a Sunday through Thursday schedule. Sometimes I'll still be doing stuff on Fridays. You know how that goes. So um, this week I've got staff one-on-ones. So as you can see, every Tuesday I'm either doing staff meeting with our whole team or I'm doing staff one-on-ones. And tomorrow I'll be doing staff one-on-ones instead of a staff meeting. Uh, then uh, let's see here. I've got most of the rest of the day open. So I'll be able to get some of these Christmas meal things done. So I'm just going to go ahead and add Christmas meal work. And these are things that are going to be showing up for this week only. There's other tasks on here, but these are things that are relevant for this week. Christmas meal work. Um, overall Tuesday, I'll have some time for some sermon work. Don't always have that. And But I also keep this open because this is also going to be um, funeral prep meeting. Uh, that's my goal is to do it tomorrow if they can work that out, if we can make our schedules work together. So that's what Tuesday is looking like. And then if I go in here, I'll go on to Wednesday. 
I don't know if I did this for the Tuesday one, but I need to update this to December 6th. Um, Wednesday is going to be typically uh, prep work. So reading list, sermon work, but I also got funeral sermon work to be working on. This is also going to be project day or any kind of miscellaneous things. I usually have some flexibility in here, but I also have my wife's surgery. So uh, surgery AM. We don't know what time that's going to be. So, you know, you love that, but I'll likely have my laptop with me doing things. So that's to come. And then Thursday, set this up. Thursday's usually as, as far as I can help it. It's going to look the same every week. This is my sermon writing day. Uh, let's see here. Not sure. Oh, I must have clicked it twice. I was impatient. <clears throat> and then I also have a funeral visitation. So you can see how these things, you know, obviously, um, fill in the week with the different aspects of it. All of you understand that if you've officiated funerals, um, send email newsletter, create sermon slides. Yep. That all looks good. Um, as the week goes on, I'll be adding pieces into here for the newsletter, things that aren't already in there. I'll be typing in whatever it is that needs to go to the church for communication. And then uh, I also have a Friday uh, work day because that's when the funeral is going to be. So there's a fuller week. So I'm going to add to do officiate funeral service that's going to be at 10 30 a.m and that's pretty much going to take up much of the day 10 30 maybe get done around 2 30 uh, i need to add something just a miscellaneous thing into my day today i need to call and reschedule this is like tmi but it's okay Reschedule my dentist appointment. Schedule for Friday. I'm not going to be able to make that. So I need to do that. So there you have it. This is my week for this week. Obviously, there's time in here that is flexible for people who want to meet and uh, just things that need to be done that I'm not already anticipating. But this is how I attempt to set up my week for just as most intentionality, as much intentionality as I possibly can so that this week and every week I work is going to be just, you know, toward the things that I need to get done. So if you like this video, um, I will be doing more videos, just kind of breaking down the different aspects of my ministry dashboard, because when I released my sermon notion template, a lot of you were asking, Hey, what are the other things that you can do in notion? Well, this is just one of the aspects that I use within my ministry dashboard. As we go, I will be releasing more videos showing you how I use my ministry dashboard. It can do a lot more than this. Um, there's, you know, project management, preaching, key dates, pastoral care, leadership, and then the basic system that I use to build this out. So if you are interested in more videos on the ministry dashboard in Notion, leave a comment, let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you are really into being intentional with your time and with your work, then be sure to go to preachandlead.com slash roadmap, and you can download my intentional pastor's roadmap. Uh, you'll love it. It will be the guide that will show you, hey, all right, where are we as a church? Maybe we're struggling a little bit. How can we as pastors be intentional with not only our own health and our own work, but how can we lead intentionally too? It's going to show you the pathway for that or the roadmap. So be sure to go there, preachandlead.com slash roadmap, download your free guide. It's all free. And I will see you in the next video.